Hi ladies and gents. Well, look at those aeroplanes. Anyway, uh, I thought I would uh, try to explain torque and horsepower, kind of like the difference between those. I think a lot of people are pretty confused about what the difference is and what one means and how they're related and that sort of stuff. Um, so, horsepower is uh, sort of a higher meaning than torque. Torque is one component of horsepower. So, horsepower comes from the combination of torque and RPM. Uh, so if you don't have one, you don't have any horsepower. Uh, if you don't have either of those things, you don't have any horsepower. So like if, you, if the engine isn't turning, there's no horsepower. And if the engine isn't pushing against anything, then there's no horsepower. Both of those things have to be happening for there to be horsepower. Or power. Horsepower is just a unit of power. In mathematical terms, uh, power is force times speed. So how hard are you pushing and how fast are you moving while you're pushing? That's, that's power. So torque is like the force. It's just one part of horsepower. The other part is RPM. Horsepower is made of the combination of those two things. See what I mean? Am I explaining it right? So anywho, that is the difference between torque and horsepower. Torque is one part of horsepower. It's one of two things that you need to make horsepower. You need torque and you need RPM. So like a tractor engine, you know, tractor engine is pretty big. Like there, it might be a two liter engine and it might only make 40 horsepower. Okay, but they they have very, very high torque, a lot of torque. Um, and they're huge, you know, the tractor engine's a big engine that might weigh several hundred pounds. Um, and let's say, let's say you got a, a 40 horsepower tractor engine. And then you get a, a Ninja 250 engine, which is tiny, it's a quarter of a liter, you know. Um, but it redlines at 13,000 RPM. It can run very, very fast. And even though it doesn't produce nearly as much torque as the tractor engine, a Ninja 250 puts out about 40 horsepower. So, uh, thusly, it is demonstrated that two engines of vastly different characteristics might have the same power output. I don't know why I switched to this poncy British accent, but it's much more fun. I enjoy talking to myself. You see, I get bored when I'm talking about something that I already understand. And so, it becomes much more fun to talk in a, um, poncy British accent whilst explaining the aforementioned, highly understood subject. Yes. This place is being, uh, demolished, I believe. You see, the, um, it's, uh, it's in great need of repair. Or perhaps it's in disrepair. Or perhaps it's just being demolished and that's how they look. I believe so. Oh look, it's a gravel pit. Excellent. Well. Oh, I know where I'll go. Yes. It's this very interesting place that I discovered. Now let's see, how would I get to it? Hmm. I would need to turn here, I believe. No, I know, I don't want to turn here. That is the shortest way to get there, but I certainly don't want to go that way. There's a lot of traffic over there. It's the commercial center of this particular me metropolis. And it is uh, approximately 4.30 p.m. So, everyone's getting off work early and going shopping. I know. This is much more fun. There aren't any stop signs on this road, at least not here. And there's a cool bridge somewhere. Oh dear, I've said a word that shouldn't have been in this conversation. 
I don't believe someone with my particular accent would have said the word cool. Would have spoken the word. Ah, ah yes, much better. You see, I'm constantly perfecting it. I wonder if there are any uh, motor vloggers that speak with um, an accent anything close to this. I think most of the British motor vloggers are, uh, have a much more common man sort of accent. Though Spicy 110 does surprise me from time to time. It whips out a word and I think, gosh, he could be royalty. Man, that gate was open. You could totally get in there. It's pretty sweet. How am I doing here? How am I going to get there? I think I'll keep going. And go by this oh, wonderful place called The Overall Company. It's a little coffee shop. My friend works there actually now. She just started. There. See, it's a very trendy little... Oh look, there's Scott. I know Scott. See that guy with his fingers up and he's talking about something? I don't know what he's talking about, but I know him. He doesn't know who I am. <laughs> he's just staring at me. Oh, there's Jessica's scooter. Let's go talk to him! Dang it! Oh. <clears throat> did I say her whole name? I did. Uh, yeah, there it is. Remember my video that's entitled, uh... Um... What is it? Awkward happens, but don't delete it. This is that tiny blue biella that I was riding. Anyway. I think that person has antlers. Ah, run for it! Getting out of here! By wasteland! By gravelly road! Oh, let's check out the bones. Bones, okay. Let's go.